Welcome to Headlines on Sports News. I'm glad to be here with the Channel Television Sports Dream Team. Austin. Dream team. Yeah, you guys are the dream team. Uh, Austin, Cup, Ayo, and Cece. World Cup squad. <laughs> you guys are the World Cup squad. All right. So uh, what's happening in the world uh, of, of the news of this morning? Uh, we're going to start with insurgency, Ayo, and troops fighting it in the Northeast have continued to record impressive results as the Army has announced the capture of one of Booker Ram's commanders who is at present undergoing investigation. According to the Director of Army Public Relations, Colonel Sani Usman, the militant was apprehended during an offensive operation conducted by the troops of the 21 Brigade in conjunction with elements of the 151 Task Force Battalion of 7 Division around Alori in Bama Axis. Civil servants who think that the President's anti-corruption posture is a fluke may have to think again as President Mohamed Buhari has resolved to stop the practice of not providing answers to queries by parastatals and ministries. To this end, the President has directed the Auditor General of the Federation to ensure that all outstanding audit queries to parastatals and ministries are replied within 30 days. For the present administration to succeed, the media must support its objective of bringing change to the country. That's according to the President's Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshino, who met with the Guild of Editors at an interactive session in Lagos yesterday. He also promised to give the President feedback on the pulse of the nation as regards the desired change. And in Kaduna State, it may be too hot for criminals to operate in, as the police say they have arrested 33 suspects and also discovered an illegal arms manufacturing factory in Jamal local government area of the state. Parading some suspects, uh, the commissioner of police said the arrests were made following a tip-off from members of the public. And finally, on headlines, outside the country, U.S. President Barack Obama will unveil what he's called the biggest, most important step the U.S. has ever taken in tackling climate change. The aim of the revised Clean Power Plan is to cut greenhouse gas emissions from U.S. power stations by nearly a third within 15 years. Those are the headlines coming up. Back to the Channel Sports Dream Team on the Sports World News. <laughs> the World Cup squad. <laughs> when we come back. Presenting the awards, the gold medal, uh, Lucy Meyer with the Los Angeles Tennis Center here at UCLA, and Jamie Meyer, Arnett Guest. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful to God Almighty that made this possible. Though uh, before we left Nigeria, we have promised and uh, we make sure we go back to God, not our strength. And God made it happen for us. All right, I'm very delighted to have to win the gold for um, Nigeria and um, Unified Soccer for the first team. We are very happy. We have been praying for it. And at least we have been in the camp for a couple of months training together. But we thank God Almighty God to, for crowning our efforts. Excited, as in proud, proud and 
good because because it wasn't easy for us though. We are we are we are in the, in the top group and God was just with us. God was just with us. Up Nigeria today is one of my best day in football. You know, winning gold in Los Angeles with Special Olympics. This is a memorial for me and my family. It was an intense competition and the players with the partners were able to show the spirit of Special Olympics. At the end of the games, uh, we came back with gold, which is really, really what we are looking for. All right, then, interesting uh, comments there from uh, the Team Nigeria athletes. So talking about the Unified uh, Soccer uh, Gold uh, Medal team, or oh, they got the gold medal, so we can actually call them at that, uh, winning uh, Russia on penalties uh, for uh, two uh, that uh, happened. And, of course, guys, it really uh, was something that many would have expected. I expected it because in the build-up to this, uh, to, to get into the final, winning the gold, they showed real class. I mean, the yeah. unified soccer team. Yeah, I did a lot of that. And, of course, you know, historically, it's the first time Nigeria is actually winning a gold medal in this particular uh, team sports event. And the, they went to penalties against Russia. It actually ended 4-3. Okay. But I think it was really a great one for them, for them to, be, to have been able to pull that off. Because I didn't expect a good throw from them. So, because although they played very well, when you're facing a team like, like Russia, who we know usually get to dominate this sport, you'll be thinking, will these boys be able to do that? But at the end of the day, went to penalties, of course, mm. they were able to come out victorious 4-3. I think of our, um, our special athletes um, truly deserve a massive salute when they come back. They've done so well. Uh, they've shown the country that um, there's ability in this ability. And I think they went this far um, in Los Angeles because of the support given to them um, by Special Olympics Nigeria. This is a call on, um, you know, um, corporate organizations, individuals with love for uh, special athletes to support um, Nigeria's Special Olympics team. Um, they defeated South Africa in their first unified football game, 6-0, you know, demolished South Africa. I think played a draw, Burkina Faso went all the way to win gold, and you could see the love. I keep specifying love. That's what the Special Olympics is all about, the support, the bonding, you know, and that when you look at these guys, you, you, you're tempted to say there's nothing wrong with them because that's what sports does. It's such a powerful, so unifying powerful. force. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's just a show of talent, and the Special Olympics gives them, gives them an opportunity to actually showcase their talent, not just in football, guys, in basketball. They were also fantastic. Mm, very, very fantastic, and uh, we can only hope that... Uh, as time goes on, you know, these guys will be kept together. Um, I, I really hope to uh, see more of them uh, in, in the coming uh, weeks and in the future. Uh, and, and who knows what they will be achieving uh, when we definitely, we definitely have more people coming into the fray uh, for the uh, Unified the Soccer Gold uh, Medal Team uh, from Nigeria, doing the nation proud as well as other athletes. All right, guys, you know, you can still definitely uh, be a part of uh, this uh, show, uh, sports uh, this morning. Uh, of course, our feedback, uh, me feedback mechanisms, uh, rather, uh, like you see on, your, uh, on the screen there. Uh, you can get uh, talking with us as it relates to other uh, sports uh, issues, uh, trending topics and events. Sports this morning at uh, channelstv.com. Of course, on our Facebook there, we have channels on the... Uh, score sports uh, uh, for the Twitter and of course uh, my Twitter handle there at EYBalugun13. So uh, get into the conversation. Let's know what you think about all the uh, interesting uh, news and information uh, we'll be bringing uh, to you in the course of uh, the uh, show uh, every day of the week, Monday to uh, Friday uh, on our various platforms. All right, guys. Um, we're talking about the, still talking about the uh, Special Olympics, uh, our man, Tayo Salam, uh, who should be on his way back uh, to, <laughs> to uh, the country. Uh, we hope to definitely get in touch with him uh, to find out uh, what other interesting things uh, happened in, in the course uh, of the Special Olympics. But um, let's even look at the basketball event now. Mm. Uh, let's talk about the basketball event. Um, well, we really didn't get to win the gold as we would have wanted. We got the silver, uh, and um, well, good news. Good at, news. At the Special Olympics, let's let's play down 
um, winning gold medal, silver medal. Let's let's promote uh, the love, the care, the support, the bonding uh, that is achieved, you know, through sports. But again, they were actually, you know, impressive in basketball. Remember the first game against Canada, about 33 to 27, score Nigeria, you know, swept aside Canada. Played Belgium in the next game, pa 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 they got it done, and then. In the third game, it was a tough one um, against South Korea, South Korea, but they put up a very good fight. And you see, at that stage with special athletes, when they understand the need not to give up, to hang in there, to give, you know, what you believe you have inside of you that the world cannot see. They showed it. And uh, when the coach uh, spoke after the game, Coach Michael Lani, he mentioned it, that it was special to see that these these special athletes could fight. They understood they that if they're going down, they need to go down fighting. So Nigeria lost the gold medal, but they won silver, and it was a good one. And the players they loved it. They were kissing the medals, and that alone, that alone was was good hope for the future. It was as good as gold. The yeah, winning the silver medal. And there was one name that stood out uh, for for the uh, the men's basketball team. Uh, the coach Mashud Mashud Pupula. Yeah, the one they they call Pupula uh, <laughs> over there in Los Angeles. Uh, big things uh, for for that uh, for that man. Uh, uh, who knows? Who knows what he will be achieving? Uh, you know, if given the much needed support. I think that's the word we need to keep talking about support because. Uh, well, Maybe when uh, Michael, uh, when Mashut Popola was doing for this competition, he was just going to have fun. But look at what sports has done. You never know the extent to which that That's name Mashut Popola has gone. You know, even given the white folks problems with pronouncing the name, and, and they've, they've given it a very good, given good funk to it in Popola. So. It doesn't. It goes. It goes further than that. There's also uh, Victoria White in table tennis that did big things. Other athletes stepped up big time in badminton. Uh, there was also Olowoni who did um, big things also in cycling. There is Chidu Bim who also did you know uh, fantastic things right there. Nigeria winning at about six, seven gold medals. You know, and um, when they were leaving, they, they had a target of about twelve medals. They got nine, ten. Fair enough. They need to come back now. Let's see how we can institutionalize special athletes and special Olympics mm. in Nigeria. Because the Special Olympics Nigeria, they're trying to get this done. They're trying to give support to these athletes. They're trying to let them know that even when you're down, you can't be out. You can come out through sports if you are talented. Sports can put you out there. And in every way, when these guys re return to the country, they deserve to be celebrated. They are winners, they're champions in their own right. All right, they deserve to be celebrated. And, of course, uh, we've just been told that, that uh, Tayo on. Salam is uh, uh, definitely uh, on the line. Uh, we hope to uh, reach him to, you know, give us a feel of uh, what uh, uh, transpired uh, right there in Los Angeles. Uh, Tayo? Hello, Tayo. Hello. Yeah, Hi. Tayo, it's great to have you with us. It's sports this morning. Uh, uh, Tell us, uh, wh 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 how did it all pan out? The, the, the event has come to an end, uh, I presume, and yeah. I'm sure you should also be on your way back uh, to Nigeria uh, quite soon. But you were there, yeah. you saw events uh, as, as they yeah. unfolded. So what big thing can we definitely take away from, 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 from the event? Um, anyway, uh, I, uh, basically, the, the closing ceremony was just a couple of hours ago. And um, it was really exciting. It was a very low-key event, and um, it was very powerful. And um, it was good to see the athletes, you know, finally come out after a very, after about a week of really serious competition. A lot of these athletes are actually very good. Some of them really have this.